to yet another video. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Uh, we have a continuation in hot, sunny weather on the east coast of uh, Vancouver Island. Um, I'm here again with uh, Brian Barnum. And uh, Brian and I have set a goal today to uh, look for photographs in this uh, bright sunshine which is always a bit of a challenge. And I think the reason why it's a challenge for me is not because there aren't good photographs in this type of light. I, I just find it hard to get inspired when it's sunny like this. And uh, of course, a lot of people complain about the summer being, you know, you have to get up too early or, and then the sun doesn't go down until, until very late. Um, that's not really the issue for me. The issue is just that I'm just not inspired by this type of light. Uh, so it's a good job that Brian came out because I, I really didn't want to didn't really want to uh, go out and make photographs. I wasn't feeling terribly inspired. But he said, "Well, I'm going to come over and see what we can find." So we've come over to um, one of the Gulf Islands here. This is Gabriola Island, and uh, we've just kind of set our goals to find kind of stuff like we found at Myra Falls, close-ups, abstracts, patterns in nature. And uh, so we're just exploring the island. We're just going to different beaches and seeing what we can find. Brian's uh, already gone. He's, he saw something on the beach that we went to, so we stopped and uh, went and got our camera gear and he's probably down there now making some uh, photographs. So uh, let's go and see what Brian's found. Okay, so I don't know if you guys watched my video last week and Brian's, but you may have noticed that our photographs were very similar. And it's funny because it just ended up that way. Uh, I don't think that Brian was checking to see what I was photographing. I certainly wasn't checking what he was photographing, even though I claimed to go and steal his, uh, his compositions. But we came up, we, we actually photographed exactly the same subjects. Now on this trip, I'm gonna make a, a concerted effort to not take the same photographs as Brian. And uh, so what have you found here, Brian? Looks like he's found a really great, like a wood pattern in, in this big old stump here. And uh, I'm guessing the rock is part of the... Yeah, well, it, we were looking, we were gonna leave, weren't we? We were gonna go back to the van. Yeah, but we had a bit of closer look and we realised that a lot of the rocks are getting caught in the in the wood and the deadfall that's on the beach here. Uh, so this is really nice. There's some whites there, there's some darks, so there's some nice contrast, some nice patterns with the swells. And I've noticed this rock that's got wedged. You find that a lot of the rocks get wedged in all the cran nukes and crannies. Uh, so I think the, it'll the make nuke, a nice... The nukes. Sorry. The nooks and crannies. <laughs> no, I thought it was nooks. Nooks and crannies. <laughs> nooks. <laughs> he's going to nuke this, this but composition. But it is going to be an amazing photo. Hopefully different to yours this time. Oh, it'll be different because I won't be photographing it. <laughs> yeah, but it's a neat little area and we were about to leave, but we thought, you know what, we're having a slow drive, why not? Yep, precisely. All right, I'm going to go and look for my own comps now. Mm. life really hard for myself <laughs> so there's some really great patterns all over this uh, this washed up uh, log but of course I want to photograph on top of the log <laughs> so it took me quite a while to set this up with a with the tripod uh, it's beautiful uh, I, I, I must admit when I'm kind of I hate to use the word forced but I guess I am kind of forced to look for compositions like this when it is sunny. Um, even though it's not my favorite subject to photograph, it's something that I, I really do enjoy photographing once I get going. Um, 
I kind of, it, it's funny, it's, it's almost like a last resort, finding patterns in, in nature, but I do enjoy photographing them. Uh, I just usually don't set out at the beginning of a day to say, okay, I'm gonna go and photograph patterns. It's usually kind of a, an afterthought. It's been quite the lazy summer's day today. So Brian and I got here, well I got onto Gabriola, I guess it was around 11 o'clock. Went to the store, got, um, got some sandwiches and stuff, stuff to eat. And then of course we went to that one spot where we got a couple of shots that I quite like. And then uh, around, I think it was around three o'clock, I was in desperate need of a a granddad's nap, <laughs> so uh, we went back to the campsite and uh, had a bit of a nap. So it's now, um, well, it's about quarter to seven and the light's starting to ease off a little bit and the temperature's eased off a bit. So we've come to uh, uh, another little park called Drumbeg Provincial Park, just to have a look and see what's around. Um, it's a beautiful spot, it really is. Uh, but I think it's going to be kind of a lot of the same kind of thing that we're looking for. Um, Close-ups of some of these logs that are on the ground here, or on the, on the rocks. And also there's some uh, taffany rocks here as well. So uh, yeah, I'm quite excited actually. There's some, we just have, went for a quick little walk just to have a quick look, see what was around. And there's, uh, there's some potential here. And actually I, I've just come into this forest here, behind me here. Um, I just wanted to have a quick look in here. It's a beautiful forest. Um, there's Arbutus trees in here and uh, Douglas fir. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I bet it's really great in the spring. Kind of reminds me of Hornby Island quite a bit. Anyway, let's see what we can find. Ah, okay. This looks a bit more promising. There's uh, Arbutus trees here. And uh, there looks like some nice taffany patterns around the corner as well. So, uh, yeah, this looks like it might have some potential. All right, something that I'm really quite excited about. Uh, so there is some, some nice taffany patterns along uh, this shoreline here. And we're, we're in a, there's a bit of a, there's another island behind me. So this is a, a bit of a channel here, which is quite interesting. Uh, but I absolutely love the end of this log here. It reminds me of the taffany patterns. I'm, I'm looking at this pattern here and then over the rocks and they almost look identical. Um, so I'm just shooting straight into the end of this log. Uh, really interesting textures. I am having to focus stack it because there's a lot of uh, difference between the stuff in the way in the back of the log and then forward. Um, but yeah, it's really, really interesting. Lovely textures. I am having a bit of a problem with the light because it's quite harsh behind me. So it is touching some of the inside of the log, um, which is a bit problematic because it's just gonna be overexposed. But uh, it might even be worth coming back here when the sun has gone down even lower behind the, uh, the trees over here, probably in another half an hour or so, and uh, I'm retaking this.
This is kind of cool. Uh, so we're going for the minimalist type stuff now. So the there isn't so much taffany here, but there's some really neat, um, I don't know what you would call them, kind of waves or undulations in the rock and different tonalities throughout, but it's all kind of smooth. So with a bit of contrast adjustment to, to bring out those those shapes in the, or the, the, the color variations, I think it'll work really well. So basically all this is, is a, there's, a, there's a crack that's split down this small cliff here, but it has some staining on the sides. So it's, it's quite cool. Uh, I'm shooting a square and my, uh, my camera is not level. I've, I've twisted it around. So I'm forming more of a diagonal with the, um, the crack. It's very simple, uh, square. I think it'll work quite well. It might work better as a black and white, but we'll have to experiment a bit. Really nice. And there's some, there's some other stuff next to it that I think I'm gonna play around with as well because it's the same kind of thing. We have these different color variations, slight grays and tan colors. The photographs are coming fast and furious now. I think I've taken about three, <laughs> which is a lot for me. Uh, I, I really love this. This is quite minimalist. So it's one, perhaps not everybody's cup of tea, but um, I think what I really like about it is the different tonalities. And I think that, you know, with a bit of careful contrast adjustment, like I, I mentioned in the, in the last image, I think we could really bring this to life. Uh, I'm not sure why the streaks are there. I think it's probably from water running down the rock. So some parts are uh, more of a tan color and then other parts are uh, more of a grayish color. But that's what I'm basing my composition around. Uh, I'm doing a pano 65 by 24, which is a little bit long. So I might have to adjust it a bit. But uh, yeah, I think, I think this is gonna work. Uh, I am cutting out the grasses and everything at the top. Uh, because that's just going to be interfering with the composition. Originally, I was going to include the bottom as well, but uh, I think that uh, I like the more minimalist approach. So just the central portion. if you guys can see this but uh, the island beyond Mudge Island there's a really great line of trees has some nice light on it right now and uh, this peninsula is in the shade so I think what I'm going to do is a quick pano of the whole it's very simple very minimalist uh, I'm going to put on a 10 stop uh, case ND filter so that I can really smooth that water out see how that turns out I think it's around a minute or so exposure um, yeah, beautiful light over there. I'd like to go over there sometime, actually. It looks like there's a great group of trees over there, Arbutus trees, and uh, I'm sure it's pretty interesting. So maybe one day I should go over there and, and try some photography.
Mr. Barnum. Good morning. How was your uh, How was your lovely evening? It was nice. What are you doing? There's some label you don't, you've used. Or I want to see it. <laughs> Hang on, let me just turn this around. There we go. So, uh, how was your evening? Hot. It, well, I, actually, I was all right, but yeah, with that fly on on the roof tent. Yeah, it was pretty warm. It was nice, though. It's a great spot, nice and cool, eh? Oh yeah, and it's nice and quiet, and yeah, we lucked out here. We, um, again, we didn't reserve a spot. We just kind of showed up, and luckily someone was just leaving, so we jumped in there. That's it, that's And what was it, though, 20 bucks, 25 bucks? 26 bucks. 26 bucks, yeah. Yeah, it was a good, great spot. We didn't stay here long last night, because we, we were out late, eh? Yeah, so we didn't get back until about 10. 10 and then I had some 10. soup, and, uh, we sat around for a bit, went to bed about 11, 11.30, yeah. didn't we? No beer. No beer, no, that was good. No beer. Yeah. And a health kick. <laughs> anyway, so what's the plan uh, this morning? Well, I think we're going to go to the first location where we went yesterday, I can't remember it. Uh, Manaspina um, Gallery? Yeah. So yeah think, is that where you want to go? Well, we'll, we'll wander the coast around it. Okay. All right. Because the place we went last night works better at sunrise. Yes. And this place works better at sunset. But it See, we, we, we didn't bother getting up at sunrise because the area where we were last night, which would probably be good for sunrise, it's a good half hour drive. Yeah. And you know, sunrise at this time of year is... Quarter past five it was. Yeah, so we'd have to be there by quarter to five at least. But a great spot, definitely want to go back. Yeah. Yeah, we had fun yesterday, so um, we'll try and extend that and get a couple more shots this morning. And, uh, all right, that's it. That's all I've got to say. Let's finish this, uh, well. <laughs> Beth Maxwell House. <laughs> all right, as you can see, it's a bright, bright, sunny day. Uh, in the shade, is, it's actually quite cool and there's a nice breeze, so that's really good. Uh, so I've kind of resorted back to photographing patterns on rocks and uh, trees. Uh, and it works out well for this, this location is excellent. There's, there's tons to photograph here. Uh, right now I'm, I'm photographing these Arbutus tree limbs that looks like someone's cut them off um, from somewhere and they've washed up ashore. But there's some amazing patterns on these. And of course, because they're exposed to the elements, uh, they have this bright red and all of these intricate patterns in them. So yeah, they look beautiful. Um, now I have to take uh, Brian to the ferry uh, after this. So I'm gonna leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give me the old thumbs up. That's always appreciated. And also, if you'd like to support my channel uh, in other ways, be sure to head on over to my website at adamgibbs.com where I have my new book, Land and Light. It is pre-sale. Thank you everybody that's already purchased a copy. It is coming. It's a bit slower than, than I had anticipated, but it is coming soon. So thank you for your patience. All right, guys, uh, until next time, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.